you're absolutely right. I mean, uh, travel was right in the center of the storm uh, during the COVID time. So it was a badly hit. And from badly hit, it has become super hit right now. Like, it's actually the only part of the e-commerce uh, space that is growing uh, the fastest right now. Mm-hmm. And uh, the reason is obviously there is a lot of pent up demand. But remember also that people saved up a lot of money and kept it aside to spend on more experiences. I think during COVID, one thing we have all learned is that, uh, you know, we have only a limited time on the planet and we've seen many people uh, obviously get impacted on near and dear ones uh, have not made it on the other side. So I think uh, people have gone back and uh, said that instead of uh, just having, uh, you know, a lot of savings sitting in, in their wallet, you know, they might as well go and spend it on experiences, seeing the world, uh, seeing new cultures, seeing new places within India, outside India, etc. So I think uh, fundamentally the customer uh, psyche related to spending on experiences, uh, share of wallet being spent on travel, I think those things have changed uh, a lot, right? Especially in tier one cities, we are seeing the inclination to travel more frequently okay. and upgrade in what uh what mode of transportation you were using so if you were going by ac train you have decided to now take a flight if you were taking a three four star earlier you are saying let me spend a little bit more and enjoy in a five star Uh, i think that behavior shift we have noticed uh which is really helping the industry like today if you see the fares are almost 30 percent higher on many routes right and yet uh most of the flights are running with 90 percent sort of uh occupancy right Uh, the load factors are unprecedented uh, similarly, on hotels, the ARR is very high right now. Uh, I think Goa ARRs, I was reading, almost 70% higher for some hotels, the average room rate. But still, uh, those hotels have uh, 80% plus occupancy, right? So I think this uh, is not just pent up. It's a change in behavior, change in consumer behavior. And I think that change in consumer behavior will last for a while. Very good question. So I think uh, we have done it in three ways. One is... Uh, by better cross-sell and upsell. So we have seen that many of the bus and train customers that we had, Mm -hmm. uh, they are interested in booking flights. Like many of the people who used to book uh, even train uh, reserved uh, non-AC, right, have moved into starting to book AC because they want to invest in that experience as opposed to saving that money. So I think we've seen that gradual upgrade from unreserved to reserved, reserved to AC reserved. And AC reserved guy is spending a little bit more to take a flight ticket. Right? So this gradual journey during COVID has gotten accelerated um, after COVID. And what we are now seeing is that products that we launched during pandemic like Exigo Assured, which uh, gives you full money back if you decide to cancel for any reason. No questions asked, you press the cancel button and you will get the money back. Uh, these sort of products have also become very, very important because customers want to book with confidence. During COVID, a lot of people did not get their refund back on time. There was a lot of negative experiences like that on many uh, OTAs, airlines, etc. So uh, this Exigo Assured product that we launched in 2020 has now obviously helped us grow very fast. And our focus on tier 2, 3, 4 markets, that's the third point, that we have been a company more focused on uh, Bharat or the uh, you know the uh, smaller towns and uh, train bus uh, you know and, and uh, now in, in airports coming in in smaller towns also flights from smaller towns and there we have seen unprecedented growth some of those airports in tier two towns are well above pre COVID levels uh, if you look at Patna and Lucknow right they're all operating at well above pre COVID levels this uh, has disproportionately benefited us because that was our core market mm. and we have seen therefore our revenue jump to almost five times of pre-covid level right now so right. there is unprecedented jump in uh, growth that we are seeing so we have uh, already uh, grown very rapidly in areas like trains and buses trains we are already the market leading ota for train ticketing bus we are the second largest player uh, we will want to double down a bit more on the flights business and uh, see that grow. But also on the bus side, uh, we have recently launched a new uh, EV-based bus business called Fresh Bus, uh, which is uh, going to be based out of Bangalore, Hyderabad. Uh, and eventually, you know, it, it will become a pan-India EV-based bus uh, operator. Uh, this is a very interesting new venture that uh, we just seed funded. Uh, we are also going to explore uh, areas that we don't do today. Like today, uh, we are not a OTA on hotel sector. Uh, you know, so we, hotels and packages is an area that we would want to explore going forward. So I think travel is probably the only sector which is immune to uh, most of these macros that you talked about. I think 
uh, we are still coming out of COVID, have the tailwinds of that. Uh, but at the same time, uh, globally, you know, travel and tourism is a sector that continues to grow uh, quarter on quarter. And, uh, uh, and I think a lot of it has to do with the change in discretionary income spend uh, pattern, which everybody has seen post-COVID, uh, which, uh, which I believe is not just temporary, but permanent, because it's a change in psyche of how you look at life and savings and all of that. Um, so, so we are kind of thankful, and I think the, the macros that you talked about, Western countries have been more impacted, especially with the recent uh, bank-related crisis going on. You know, again, in India there is zero impact. Our regulators have been far ahead and visionary in, in how they have uh, set the regulatory environment for banks in the country. So, I think uh, uh, we are sitting in a market way which is the going to be the fastest growing market in the world. Uh, which will create disproportionate value in the internet ecosystem because uh, UPI adoption, we are already the number one on mobile payments globally. Uh, and some of that will now start flowing into uh, you know, all the verticals, including travel, which we've started to see in the last two years that tier two, three, four users, they set up UPI, they started coming online to book train ticket, bus ticket. Yeah. So the sector is still in a very early sunrise phase and we expect the momentum to continue for many years. For more updates from CXO TV, please like and subscribe to our channel.